everybody. Today I'm going to try and do something a little bit different and a little bit more into some of the things that I do sort of on my own free time. Just kind of fun. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Geo Detective. I'm going to be picking some random photos from various social media sites and seeing if I can pinpoint where they were taken. I'm not trying to dox anybody. I'm not going to be looking for anyone's identity or anything like that. Just want to find if I can you know, figure out exactly where a photo was taken. Here's our first one here. Uh, the posting said that it was a bunch of uh, people and the, a friend and his team out for lunch. I noticed on the background there's a sign that says clarity. I assume that it was spelled correctly with a Y at the end of it at this point. So I'm looking around for that. And I see some clarity um, hearing professionals um, out there, but the logos, uh, none of them match, which I'll find this one here. And then I realized, wait a second, it's clarity ending in an I instead. And as a matter of fact, that video seems to be that very sign. So I'm looking for this location, it seems. Now, as a business, of course, it could be a franchise. There might be multiple locations. I'm going to their site and I'm just going to check and see. Well, I'm trying to verify that I have the right business. I'm checking the faces here, but I see that there is only one location and it's at this place in Singapore. It appears to be a mall. So I'm going to throw that into Google Earth and we're going to try and street view in that mall. Many malls have um, the, the Trek street view cameras. I know that it is uh, number 3-29, so I'm guessing it's the third floor. So pop myself here onto the third floor and we're going to do a little bit of a walkabout. See if we can find that location or or a clarity location at this point. I'm not sure that I have the exact right spot. There's you know a possibility they could have moved. They could have a separate location that's not on the site. And, uh, but I am noticing that the architecture here looks about right for our picture. And then I see there's our logo, right? So we've, we found a clarity location. And if we turn down the hallway, uh, notice the little wood structures that are kind of all over this mall. Well, they happen to be in our picture as well. So this is boating well. And it looks like we have a pretty promising spot. I just kind of need to position myself in the right place here so I can get the best possible vantage point. Because of course, you know, we may not have the best angle here on our picture. So there's the sign. Uh, I'm noticing that there's an exit sign there, the wooden structures. There's our exit sign on the exit door, the logo. We have the low wall with the alternating brick pattern there. We have the table. You can see that there's a restaurant here. There's tables, but they're turned the other direction. So it looks like they were sitting at one of these tables in this restaurant. This is Ashton's. Most likely, uh, yeah, there we go. That's our table. But which table? Well, if we look at the poles and match up some of the structures here on the ceiling, all right, that sort of angle on those, we can see yeah, there's our structural members and our decorative wooden pieces here. Uh, we can see that they're seated right in front of one of the poles right next to this wall. So that one right there, that's our spot. Table was turned at the time because now they're the long way. They should be the short way. There would have been somebody seated right next to that. Wall. All right, next up, I just have a couple of, uh, of quick ones here because these ones are actually extremely easy. I went on to Pexels to see if I could find some stock photos that I could pinpoint. And I, I see a couple of them that could be promising. I consider that sort of Mediterranean scene. Here we have sort of a Middle Eastern scene. Here we have a bridge, but those tend to be pretty easy to identify anyway. Building on a beach, that could be interesting to find. Uh, but I really want one that looks like it would be, you know, fairly unique. And then I come across this one here. Uh, looks like an, an old ruined fort or castle on top of a hill. And I can see that there's the Spanish flag in it. And then I noticed that Pexels actually has geolocation data on it. So super easy. We just pop that into to Google Earth here and it'll basically take us right there. So as soon as we, we pop into this Spanish city, I can see that, you know, there's a uh, geological structure right there. There's our hill and there's a fort. So then it just becomes a question of if we can get the right angle. There's a road with a guardrail there. We have a sign. Uh, we have a bend in the road and there's two roads there that sort of have a bend. So I first try the closer one. And if we go into street view on that one, 
and look around. Well, that's our hill, that's our fort. This is not our road because we have a, a stone wall here and plus the angle is much lower. So we need to be up higher on this mountain. It's gonna be that second road up there. So I'm trying first to see if I can get the right angle so it makes it easier to find elevation after we have angle. And this likes, looks like closer to the right angle because there's a road that twists around this hill that leads up to the fort. And that gives us a pretty good indication of where we're supposed to be. So I know that this is about where we're supposed to be, but we need to be a little bit higher. So we're gonna pop out of street view. We're gonna go up to this other road. Yep, that one right there. And if we go to street view on that one, we wanna make sure that it's gonna be on this bend somewhere because we can see in the photo that that's where it is. All right, so there's our angle and that's roughly our elevation. We're still a little bit too low because we can see the road in the image. So we need to actually be up a little bit higher, but street view is not gonna allow us to go off road here. So it's gonna be up there by those walls. And by the way, today I'm doing eight photographs. I cut it down to about 20 minutes for the sake of the video, but it took me about an hour. Uh, that's the raw footage time here to do eight photographs. Two of them or several of them are extremely easy. So and then I find uh, this, this cabin and again, Pexels gives us the geolocation data. So super easy. We can go right to Canada where this happens to be, go right to that city. But that just gives us the city, you know, we are looking for a cabin in a city. And it's a pretty unique photograph because we have a cabin, which is of course old and rustic, but in the background we have a high rise, so it's a little bit of a juxtaposition there, just uh, interesting. If we didn't have more to go on, we could probably find something like that if we looked long enough at the map. But when you have something just this distinct, and also I noticed that there was a placard out front, it looks to be like an informational placard. That leads me to believe that this is probably an attraction or a museum. And sure enough, it's the Leon cabin. We can just pop that into Google Earth and it'll take us right there. And we'll be able to find that angle real, real, real easy. So no need to search the entire city with Google Earth. We can just go right to it. You can see over there on the left is our high rise. There's our cabin. And here we are in front of it. It's got those um, concrete dish shapes out there. There's our informational placard. So pretty distinctive. I mean, a cabin in front of a high rise is already pretty distinctive. And once again, we can't get the exact angle because we can't go off road, but you know, we can see that right there uh, from that angle, we can get both the building and the cabin at the right sides. So that's where we're at. All right, so I abandoned Pexels. I wanted to go back to social media where I didn't necessarily have such easy geolocation information to go off of. So scanning um, Reddit here for another photo we can do. I see this one right here. Um, and I see that this should be one that we should be able to fairly easily be able to do because we've got a cross street. So um, we also have a sign there that says uh, South Dakota State University main campus. So if we can figure out where South Dakota uh, State University's main campus is, then we'll have our city. And then we just need to find the right intersection. So we can see that it's here in Brookings. We zoom out if I zoom out. I had closed Google Earth, so we're back to that. And uh, what we're doing here is we're just gonna, yep, yeah, Brookings, right there you go. All right, so let's go to Brookings, South Dakota. Now we're not into it. We do, we do want to know where the main campus for that university is because that'll help us to find the cross street. But we know that it crosses with 20th Avenue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for 20th Avenue. Usually when there's avenues and streets and they're numbered, that's going to be in a grid pattern as you see here. So it makes them pretty easy to find. With Google Earth, I will lose it briefly for a little while because, you know, with the twisting and turning of your... Uh, of your position. It can be a little bit disorienting, but um, I find 20th Avenue and I'm just going to quick street view onto an intersection on 20th Avenue because I want to get a sense of the street itself. We can see that this is a really small street. So what I'm looking for is a, an intersection with a fairly major road. And I mean, I can, I can already see it, but I know that I get a little disoriented. So I'll get there eventually. Just stick with me here. I'm just looking for a cross with 20th Avenue and a major road. You can do it, buddy. Shoot, did you lose 20th Avenue? It's still there. I promise you, it's still there. 
There you go. Knew you could do it. All right, so here we are. There's our intersection. There's the sign for 20th Avenue and the South Dakota State University main campus. This is our intersection. <clears throat> Trying to get a good position on street view can be a problem at times. So, I mean, obviously it was taken from this lane, uh, but of course a little bit farther over and in active traffic. So the photographer must have been standing in traffic or something to do it. I'll try and get a better angle, but that's just not uh, not going to happen here. But we're, we're, we're right there where the picture was taken. Just, we can't quite get on the spot. That's that one so photos that contain iconic imagery are extremely easy to do public squares like this there's usually lots of photos that are taken of them that are going to be out there they're usually going to be pretty well mapped so i found this public square it happened to be empty at the time but i noticed that it had a lot of distinctive features and if you know this area of the world it probably you know screams at you what this could possibly be but if you're not then you know it might not be immediately apparent where it was from it could be you know france it could be italy somewhere in the old world for sure so I'm going to do a reverse image search on this to see if we can get some of those distinctive buildings. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's distinctive light poles, there's distinctive buildings, there's distinctive uh, stonework here. So that's going to make all of this just much, much easier for us in the end. So we can see I found our square here. Here's the, uh, the uh, Wikimedia picture of it. You can see that this is in Torin. Um, and uh, so we're going to take that and we're going to pop that into Google Earth and that's going to take us right to our square. We're going to fly across the world and end up in Italy. And there we go. All right, so we can even see from uh, the thousand foot view here that this is definitely our square because of that distinctive path that goes through there. We have our twin buildings right there next to this in the, in the bottom left hand side of the screen. So we're now facing in the opposite direction from where our picture was taken. So we're gonna turn around. There's our statue, there's our buildings, there's the clock tower and everything. We're, we're definitely in the right square, but this is obviously not the right angle. Uh, we're way closer to these buildings than they appear in the, in the photo, or way closer to the statue as well. So we need to back it up a little bit. We need to go on the other side of the square. We're roughly in the middle right now. We need to get all the way over on the other side. The uh, lamp posts here are uh, really distinctive. Distinctive. We probably could have just searched uh, the lamp posts and gotten what we needed. All right. So here on the other side of the square, where those paths converge, this is where our image was taken. There's the statue, the twin buildings, the light posts. We can even see the reason that that clock tower is covered up with that weird drawing in the image that we selected is because apparently that's what they do when buildings are under renovation. So there's our clock tower right there. We can't see it. It's covered up by something, but there's a drawing on the outside. And, uh, so that you could say that they're the uh, the shrouds of Turin for these buildings. <laughs> so we can also tell this is probably taken around Christmas time because there's a Christmas sort of uh, sculpture there as well. But I didn't bother. With it. I wasn't really interested in the temporal qualities here. We're just trying to just trying to pinpoint where they were taken. All right, so then back to Reddit again. We're going to see if we can find another one. I found this uh, artistic black and white image of street signs. I couldn't read them on my monitor. I could see the Union Park, which is probably what you're able to see now. At least I hope so. Um, but I wanted to see if I could figure out, uh, you know, what the street signs say and where this was possibly taken. So we have Union Street and a something. It's covered by the first street sign, but it's something if street. So you know, if, you know, 10th, 12th, some kind of numbered street. Uh, and I did see that it was the the, the, the the city names on the street signs as well. So zap over there, drop down on that street, and uh, can't put it out, but we can see that where the sun is pointed, it's not necessarily going to help us, but we want to make note of that. 
So that's where that Union Street ends. So we have basically four intersections where that could possibly have been taken in this town. There's only four intersections on Union Street. So we're going to need to drop down into Street View on Union Street to open Is it again? I think I lost it again. Hunting for the street. Then you almost had, you almost had to go back. There you go, buddy. Okay. So we know that it's not the first intersection. We dropped in on there and we saw that there was a stop sign attached to those signs. It could be that first one. We didn't see a stop sign on that one. Here's our second intersection. There is a stop sign. Street signs, however, are on the other side. Uh, however, can't be that because there's a bush in the way and we don't see. We can see the sky clearly in our photo. So it's not the first intersection. It's not the third intersection. It could be the second. And it could be the fourth, because this is our fourth right here. However, note that the fourth has, like, the lawn on that uh, that uh, house is very well manicured. The lawn is very well taken care of. And there's even a little, uh, like, around the street sign. There's even a little bit of landscaping that's been done where there's dirt. And I, I don't see any footprints. So for the fourth one, while the angle uh, is... Correct, as there's no obstructions or anything, we could see it. I'm going to say that it's probably not that one because it doesn't look like people walk on that lawn a lot. There's not a sidewalk anywhere near there, and they take very well care of it. I would imagine that the neighborhood probably knows not to mess with that guy's lawn. So I'm going to guess it's the second one. I think that's the more likely. All right, for the last two that I did, a couple of other easy ones. I'm again on a stock photo site here. I'm on Flickr because I I don't. I want, to, I want to find something that's uh, more available for public use. I mean, I know social media posts are posted to the public. Um, so I got some distinctive buildings here from Flickr. Our first one's coming up here. Now, Flickr does this thing where they don't allow you to save images. I didn't necessarily need to save them for this, but I thought perhaps there was geolocation data attached to them. So I thought I would at least check. So I throw that into forensically, and no, there's no... No metadata attached to them at all, no XF data. I can still see that it was edited in Photoshop. So there's a possibility that this is actually a real building, but we're going to continue uh, operating under the assumption that it is. So if that's the case, then it should be pretty easy. Uh, we just need to throw that into uh, reverse image search here. A little content-based image retrieval. We can see that it's the dancing house. Prague. So we'll throw that in uh, Google Earth and see if we can find the right angle. Easy enough to find the building, it only took a couple of seconds, and we can see from Google Earth that it had to be somewhere around this intersection right about right about where that is. So a little bit farther back, probably where it's safer to take the image on the sidewalk or on the side of the road. So let's find another one. That one was pretty easy. Here we have a theater of some kind called the Palace. So we're going to grab that one as well. Two. Okay, apparently I grabbed a larger size for some reason. It's not necessary, but okay. All right, so I'm noting that there's the keep left sign there that the palace theater here has uh, got the Harry Potter and the, the, the curse, cursed prince, or what was it? Harry, the cursed child, that's it. The stage play for Harry Potter. I'm seeing that uh, it's, there's street signs on the side of the building and there's a do not enter sign. So we have a street and we have a town. So we're gonna go to the town and we're gonna find the streets. And there we go, we found the theater. Now it's just a question of which angle was taken from definitely not this one we can see the harry potter sign on the front so this is the opposite side of the building and i lose it again because i do that in google earth and we're going to pop over to a different sign not that one buddy wrong button there we go we're getting it we're getting it There's our picture. Oh, I can see the other street sign now. I see that it's Greek Street. So we need to find the intersection on the side of the building with Greek Street. There it is. Pop over. There's our sign, Greek Street, and everything's all lining up. And we can see it was taken somewhere across the street, however. 
We can also see that we have a keep left sign. It changed. The picture was taken in 2017. The Google Earth image was taken in 2023. So we know that between 2017 and 2023, keep left sign was replaced. All right, that's it. Just wanted to do a little geodetective. I actually like doing these. I do them for fun in my free time. So if you want to see more, please let me know. I'd be happy to make some more videos on this. I may do, do so anyway, just for fun. So until then, uh, see you next time. Take care. Have a nice day and goodbye.